Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, how are you all doing? I'm Dawson, 100 Day KV Experter, and we're back to playing The Other Scores 4 Oblivion. And if you can't tell, I'm really psyched today because today we get to face him, the Grey Prince, the Master of the Arena, the Grand Champion himself. And we're gonna punch him with our pierced fist of fate. First things first, let's talk to him. Hail, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here in the Bloodworks before. Yeah, of course you've never seen me in the Bloodworks. You've been slashing that board for like the last few days. People just call me the Grey Prince. It's kind of silly, I know, but the people of Cyrodiil need heroes. Yeah, that's true. If the people know there are heroes about, would be like, "You're a hero." Yes, I am. What's your superpower, Mr. Hero? I have the ability to cook bacon. Really? That'd be a really Actually, that'd be a really cool superpower, to be able to cook bacon instantly. Instant bacon. Think of the hangover cures here, people. It's amazing. Yes, I wish to challenge you. As I expected, I accept your challenge. Speak to Isabel and let her know when you're ready, and I shall make for the arena. Shinji be with us both. Now, you see, the thing is here, people, I'm challenging him head on. Some of you guys out there may know the other way you can go about doing this. If you talk to him before you're eligible to fight him, you have a choice. And if you go through the chat Stop dialogues with him, already. if you go through the chat dialogues with him a little bit, you'll be able to find out that he wants to basically find out about his father and stuff. And you find out that his father, I think it was his father was a vampire or something like that. And uh, he becomes really depressed and he's like, oh no, I'm the son of a vampire. No wonder why I'm so strong. And then you challenge him to the arena and he literally does nothing. It's the easiest fight in the entire arena because he just stands there and does nothing. And when you kill him, um, you actually get the Dark Brotherhood quest to start because... Apparently, it makes it so that his NPC is a non. And who in Shinji's because well, because he's be. non-aggressive towards you before the fight starts. It's like it's like as if you're killing a civilian. No damn so you get the Dark Brotherhood questline started, but I you mean, don't get arrested. At least from what I remember, you don't get arrested right? because it was an official arena oh, fight. So you shouldn't you get in trouble, but it's just something quirky there in case you want to get the easy way out. But you know me, I like a good challenge. I want to face this guy head on. I want to punch him right up that orcish nose of his and teach him who the true grand champion of the arena is. Let me know when you're ready for a match and Agronac will head up to the arena and prepare for your arrival. Just make sure you understand our rules of competition for this match. Fighting the Grand Champion, well, the rules are a bit different. Ooh, the rules are a bit different. Well, what are the rules of competition this time round? Just, just so I get this straight. Okay, listen up. Okay. There are no disqualifications in a Grand Champion match. That this is a no disqualification match. Still chairs wins. are allowed. Agronac yes! Agronac is wearing his raiment of valour, and he's probably got it heavily enchanted. So feel free to do the same to any armor you have. Oh, we can now, wear any you know, armor. Fantastic. In any standard arena match, you're forbidden from looting the corpse of a fallen opponent. Well, this ain't any standard match. Ooh. In the event that you beat the Grey Prince, you're to remove his armor and present it to me. Then you'll get your own raiment of valor. Uh, I see how it works. That's awesome. Okay, now that we know that, I think I'm okay. I'm not going to be ready well, yet, because first oh. things first, we're going to get out of our heavy raiment and put on our legion armor, just so we can level up our entire armor set much easier. I find it much easier to level up that thing. I mean, we're losing the personality and the athletics, but we're not really going to need it for what we're going to be doing. Base ring of agility, we've got to, got to wear that, I mean, come on. Two rings, that's just OP. We could put that on. Even though it is light armor, it does give us endurance and strength. But I think we'll be fine. What are you waiting for? Get We should be fine with just this. Okay. So you've actually challenged the Grey Prince. Agronac Gromalog is the best well you know. Blah blah, I've heard it all before, whatever. Anyway. Are you guys ready? Because 'Cause I'm ready. We're ready. So you're ready to fight the Grey Prince, are you? Well you can't go out there without a name. 
An arena, arena name? An arena name. Hmm. Something catchy. Something, something the catchy, something for people of Cyrodiil will remember. About your inglorious defeat. So what's it gonna be? Defeat? I'm gonna kick his ass. Um, the spell slinger? Nah. The butcher? Abdullah? No, no, no. Shadow step? I'm not really a sneaky guy. Black arrow? I really don't really use any arrows or whatnot. Skull crush is nice, but nah, I don't really crush skulls. I punch people in the face. The divine avenger? Now, I kind of like that. The messenger of death? Well, that is awesome. The Crimson Blade, I don't really use swords. Man o War. Yeah. Sir Slaughter. Yeah. The Tamriel Terror and Dragonheart. Hmm. Sir Slaughter. Sir Slaughter, huh? I like it. Yeah, that'll do nicely. All right. It's time to oh, see man. if you're crazy good or just plain crazy. Now, if you guys know I'm a big wrestling fan, the, arena as we the reason why I picked Sir you're Slaughter is because it just reminds me of Sergeant Slaughter. May the divine just saying. Have mercy on your soul. May the Lord have mercy on my soul, huh? Well, May the Lord have mercy you on your for? face when I'm done with your Get boy. Okay. And as we head over to the arena, it's time for some smooth jazz. J -j 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 -jazz. That you were listening to Smooth Jazz. Brought to you by the Imperial Arena. Smooth Jazz. There's a random smooth jazz moment, but let's get out of the jazz move and let's get into the hard rock! So I'm about to punch his face. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, man. I'm here, so slaughter in the house. No need to. You might be booing me now, but just wait, I'm gonna kick his ass and you guys are just gonna be cheering me, left, right and centre. It's like, you know what it's like, it feels like the whole CM Punk vs John Cena situation. I'm CM Punk, that's John Cena, he gets all, he gets all the praise, I get the championships. Anyway, here we go. Come, come on, Great Prince, show me what you got. Now, the Great Prince does have heavily enchanted everything. His weapon's enchanted. His, I think his weapon's enchanted. His shield's probably enchanted. His face is enchanted. His nose is enchanted. The ring coming out of his nose is probably enchanted as well. If he does have a ring in his nose, I can't really tell. No, it's just a big fat nose. But yeah, he's basically enchanted off the front. But look! Oh! Oh! You just got punched! Oh, I guess you don't have any enchanted weapons or shields. But I have defeated the Great Prince. Fist Pump! Fist Pump! Fist Pump! Fist Pump! Fist Pump! Tea Bag! Loving it. So, yeah, we gotta take ooh, six gold as well. Fantastic. But look at those buffs personality, athletics, fatigue, and health. On his raiment. Technically, what you can do now that the fight is over, you can actually take his raiment of valor. You can actually leave the arena with his raiment and then wear his raiment. I'm not even kidding. You can just wear his raiment if you do want to. But it doesn't feel like yours. It just doesn't feel right taking what's not yours, so. Oh, nope. I don't go to him anymore. I go to her. Stop talking already! By the love of Shinji, you did it! You beat the Grey Prince! This... this is unbelievable! That makes you the best fighter the arena has ever seen! Damn you right, woman! Raymond of Valor. This is when Sir Slaughter gets involved! Give it to me! Alright, now I give you your own! By Shinji, I... I'm shaking! This She's... is amazing! I don't see okay, any shaking happening there. Do you want a and this is like booty shake, or a booty shake, shake booty shake, shake, booty shake, booty shake, booty shake, booty shake, nah. Enough of that booty shake. Give me a heavy Raymond of Valor. Right. 
Okay. It is with great honor that I present to you this gold and the esteemed gold and name you the new arena grand champion. You <sighs> The Grey Prince was a great orc. Rest his soul and all that. But you beat him. <laughs> now go. Take some time to rest. When you're feeling up to it, come talk to me again and we'll discuss your future. Discuss our future, huh? I see what you did there. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, a thousand gold, a winning victory, and that is the end of the arena. Or is it? But look at that. Ten personality, ten athletics, ten fatigue, ten health. Can't see anything wrong about that. And when you put it on, it replaces all of your armor. It's the only thing I don't like about it. It replaces everything. And that's 14. That gives you 14, like, armor as well. And that's shown by the actual shield icon in, um... Well, you can see it. You should be able to see it. It's right there. But it's identified by the shield icon. But look at this. That's 16 with the raiment of valor. Let's see what it is with my legion armor. 16, so it's exactly the bloody same. But I like legion armor, and so I'm going to keep legion armor. Now, if you talk to her from now on, you'll be able to do more arena fights. I think it's every every week you're able to do more and more arena fights. And as you level up, you get a more diverse series of enemies to fight. From rats and goblins all the way up to minotaurs holding two-handed um, sledgehammers. Which is really quite interesting. And I would recommend anyone to do the arena as soon as possible. Because that gives you some really good money. And I mean really good money. And I mean it. Oh, no, not this guy. Wow. You're the grand champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. Ugh. Fine. Golly, you're the best. I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go. Uh, the adoring fan. I might be sacrificing myself to the nine by doing this, but... Ugh. It's either that, or punch his mum in the ovaries, so I'm just going to go with this. Um, now let's have a look, shall we? Find the air, okay. We're going to get on with the main quest line, folks. Yay! Quest lines! No, stupid map. That's better. I keep on forgetting because it's the left analog stick to choose what tab you want to be on, and it's the right analog stick to choose no, or to move your cursor around the map. And I keep on forgetting that, and so it gets really, really confusing. Ugh. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. map! Uh, why can't it just be like the map out of Door of the Explorer? At least he already knows where you want to go. All you've got to do is simply say, simply say, Are we looking to go to Candyland? No. How about Rainbowland? No. Ponyland? No. That's right. We're going to Demonland. It's Brother Martin. It's, it's the Emperor's son. Must talk. Oh, no, oh, no worries, dude, no worries, but you gotta come with me, you're in really big danger. Danger, you say? You came here to tell me this. Explain yourself or leave me alone. There are many others here who actually need your help. You're Martin, right? The priest? Yes, I'm a priest. You need a priest. I don't think I'll be much help to you. I, I need more than a priest. Understand. All this is part of a divine plan. I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. Well, sadly, you're gonna have to have to do something with it because there is a plan, and we're both part of it. What plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more danger. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? I know the one true thing about you. <coughs> 
Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not your father, but I knew your father, and he said to find you to put a magical jewel in a mystical place so that the day jewel would just piss off and go away back home to where they came. Emperor Yuri Sentin? You think the Emperor is my father? No, he is your father. Man, I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. No, 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 no. The Emperor knew you were in danger. The Daedra came from here for you. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? Because I'm the Emperor's son? Exactly. You understand it. Why would I lie to you? No, strange. I think you might actually be telling the truth. Damn, why I'm telling the truth? Come with me to Waynon Priory. You'll be safe there. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes, I've come with you to Wayne and Priory, and hear what Geoffrey has to say. Leader. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. And there you go, we now have Martin on the team. And strangely enough, for our first ever time of meeting him, he believes in everything that a stranger says. Great role model for the kids. Fantastic role model for the kids, in fact. Okay, let's head over to Wayne on Priory. You can fast travel. And uh, they will follow. I kind of prefer the allies that you get in Oblivion in comparison to the ones that you get in Skyrim because it just it just feels as if like the pathing in Skyrim for like allies for follow you is a little bit off because they either stay incredibly far away from you and take ages to get to where you are, or they just don't fight when you're in the middle of a fight either. It's, it feels a little bit off, at least in my opinion. You guys might be okay with it. I mean, I, I'm guessing they modded it. Help! You must help! They're killing everyone at Waynon Priory. What? They're killing everyone? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tell me what happened. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Maberell is dead. Maberell's dead? Who's attacking Waynon Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the Prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. They what? saw me watching, and I ran. Oh no. They followed us here. What is this madness? Where's Joffrey? Is he at least safe? I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us! Don't worry, I'll help. Piss fist attack! You're nothing. Uh. Be glad you will not live to see the day Lord Dagon walks the earth. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh. Oh! There you go. Oh, fantastic. We did a good job there. Mythic Dawn agents. It's the same guys that killed the Emperor. What do these guys now want with Martin? He's not even been made the Emperor yet, and they already want to kill him. Wow, Martin, you've got quite a fan club going after you. Just imagine what the girls are God's like. blood! They came out of nowhere! Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? I don't know where Joffrey is, but Erinol said he was in the chapel. Quick! He may need our help! Come on, Brother Pinner, let's do it! You've got your sword, I've got my fists, let's do this! To the chapel! Your timing is excellent. I'll take the one on the right. I hope my adoring fan my dies. Oh, I think he just did! Hallelujah! We only just got the adoring fan, he's already dead. Oh, look at him. Oh! Damn! Thank Talos. They attacked without. No worries, Joff. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The amulet of kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. Oh, after the amulet. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. Understood. We'll I'll go, go together, check on the amulet. But I fear the worst. All right, we'll go together, Joff. Me and you. First things first. You have gold. You have gold. Ha! <laughs> My doing fan is dead. Yes. But I will take your gold and torch. I pray the altar for good faith in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Nine Spirits. Amen. 
and carry on. Yeah, the enemy came here for We've the only got to go over teams. the road, so it's not like it's a big problem. Goatee. Of sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy. Did you do any of this? What do you know about Prime Abel's death? You might have died, but your gold will not be in vain. It'll be in my pocket. <laughs> I got all your money. Uh, 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 not getting my money, gonna live in that. Loving it. Well met. Oh, everything's fine then, is it? Ooh, secret passage. They've taken it. The amulet of kings is gone. The enemy what? has defeated us at every turn. Oh God. They. Oh no. It was just as simple as finding the Emperor's son, giving him a necklace which he had to take to a mythic area in the Imperial City to make this all stop. But no, they just had to steal the amulet and prolong the story, making it more awesome. Okay. So I found Martin. At least I found Martin. He's safe. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them Can't off. Stay. They will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Where will Martin be safe then? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Understood, Joffrey. Can we get any more assistance? You may as well take Priam Abrel's horse from the stable. He won't have use for it any longer. A free horse! <laughs> Fantastic. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Come on, Martin. You and your happy face. We're going to take you to a brand new place. A safer place. A greater place. Now, I don't... Yeah, there it is. Now, the great thing is, we can just fast travel there already. Which is amazing. But, we want everyone to get on their horses. See, they're, all getting, they're both getting on their horses now, as you can see. Once they're on their horses... Actually, I'm on my horse. I don't give a damn about them. Because look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. Mm, it tastes just like raisins. But yeah, we can already fast travel to Cloud Ruler Temple. We must have visited it before we went to prison. You know, like every other major city in Tamriel. Or at least Cyrodiil. I wouldn't say... Yeah, I wouldn't say Tamriel, I'd say at least Cyrodiil. Because Tamriel's the entire map, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I'm not brain firing here. Tamriel is the entire area and Cyrodiil is where we are right now. Isn't it? I'm going to go with yes. Because it seems the most promising. I'm going to leave my horse here. They're all going to go off their horses. I'm going to open the mighty doors and... Wow, so this is rain on Priory, huh? Joffrey, you didn't tell me you had some cool digs. Grandmaster, is this? Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. Good evening, my lord. Martin. Welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come. Well, the isn't that nice? See, he gets a nice introduction to the nice man. Where's my introduction? I saved his ass from an oblivion gate. I deserve a little bit of praise. Guys? <laughs> Fine. I'll just be the bodyguard of the game. I mean, come on, I use my fists anyway. I might as well start doing a few suplexes. Maybe a couple of takedowns, you know, just mix it up a little. Uh, ah, way on priory with the blades. The Emperor and his son have to admit, the blades are really damn cool. In Even in Skyrim, they're still cool. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, 
D don't look at me, look at the people! See, this is a great thing as well. well technically, he's Dragonborn. So, technically, according to the law released by Skyrim, Brother Martin, aka Martin Septim, is in is fact a Doverkin. I'm not used so to he should be but able to use shouts I wanted you to know that in this I game, appreciate your welcome here. but the mechanic was not implemented. I hope I prove myself worthy of Interesting your twist there. Days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blades <laughs> yeah, everyone around us just Martin pull! Martin. Stop in place! I don't They're talking to, to one another. Ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Martin. I do it all the time. How to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Don't worry about it, Martin. If anything, you have the emperor's blood running through your veins. It will come naturally. But first things first, we need to get the amulet back. Of course. The amulet of kings. So we... I... And take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion invasion. See, at least you know what you've already got to do. That's half the work done. And you will be the Emperor. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, well, yeah, I'd also get an first. idea of getting used to me going back to uni. Because I'm going back to university this Saturday, because it's what? It's the 6th of September today, I go back on the 8th of September, and I move back into my university home. Winning. And I just got an email through today, I enrolled out of the third year! Bitches! I'm finishing university, and there's nothing you can do about it. Suck my left nut. Yes! One step forward, no steps back. Loving it. Just thought I would celebrate with you guys. If you want to celebrate along with me, just give me a woo woo in the comment section below. You know what it stands for. Anyway, we've Don't saved Martin. Martin's going to be safe around here. No, it's all good in the hood. And we are now at Waynon Priory. But first things first, I'm going to talk to Joffrey. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand ah, it was nothing. of the Blades, I would be honoured to accept you into our order. Will you join us? Join- wait, join the Blades? You're kidding me, right? Like, I'm just a guy that broke out of prison because the Emperor's secret passageway was in my cell, but you want to give me that duty? Dude, I'll do it. I'll, it I'll join. To welcome you into our ranks Sign me up. Brother of the Blades. Instant partnership. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really just say that? Anyway. Thanks, Stay Joff. Safe. Ah, don't worry, I'll be fine. We'll speak to Joffrey in a bit. Now, I want to stay around this green patch here, because there's something that will happen eventually. But, if we now look at our inventory, we will now have, in our weapons, an Akaviri Katana. One of the best swords you can get in the game. Akaviri Katanas are incredibly powerful. The only ones that can stand up to Akaviri Katanas as in power, at least in my opinion, are Daedric weapons and Ebony weapons and Bound weapons as well. Those are the only few things that I've ever been able to see that can count that are more powerful than an Akaviri Katana. And if you remember, you can get a really powerful two-handed Akaviri Katana back in the Imperial City. So very good weapon overall. I'm probably going to sell it. But if you are a blade guy, use it. It's fantastic. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end it for today. Ooh, actually. Unless these guys are going to do what I want them to do. Yes, 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 okay. We want to wait here a bit. We just want to watch these guys doing what they're doing. If you remember, back of the arena, we watched those two people fighting one another. It's the same deal as that. By just watching these two guys hacking and slashing at one another and blocking each other's attacks, 
will we actually gain serve. experience from it and gain a few stat boosts. I believe you gain stat boosts to blade and block and might be heavy armor as well. Not too sure about the armor, but I think it's mostly blade and block. But any stat boosts are good stat boosts, so I'm glad to take any of it. I think I think you'll I think you'll be able to gain it by being this far away. I don't think you have to be any closer. I think I'm fine. I try moving forward a bit. Just to get a better idea of what's occurring. That's better. Because this is really handy. There are a few areas in the game where you can just stand, watch two people fight one another, and actually gain experience just by watching them fight. I think that's a great mechanic to put into the game. Where it went in Skyrim, I have no idea. Unless it is in Skyrim and I haven't found it yet. Oh no. I haven't seen anything like that in Skyrim. I thought this was a brilliant idea. Teach yourself by watching the pros do it. It'll come up any minute now. Any minute now. Just be patient, it will come up. In a minute. I think you have to watch their entire fight. I think that's the deal. Just, just wait. Just wait. There you go. By observing these blades of practice, you've picked up a couple of new moves. Your blade and block skills have both been raised by two points. There you go. Good additions if you are going for blade and block. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop this session for today, as we have a fantastic view over Wayne on Priory, looking at Bruma down there, as well as the mountains on the other side. So, next time on The Expert of Plays, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, we will try and find the Amulet of Kings and its whereabouts. Will we be, will we be able to fight off the Daedric Hordes? Will we be able to close shut the jaws of oblivion? And will Martin be able to become Emperor? There's only one way to find out, and that is to tune in next time. And until then, goodbye fellow gamers, goodbye, and I'll be seeing you guys on the battlefield.